Hi, my name is Theo and I'm part of the SA team, the 18th cohort at the Data School, the Information Lab. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the Summarize tool in all tricks to combine your string data. So the Summarize tool is one of the most commonly used tools in all tricks. As it says in the tin, it's all about summarizing your data, so aggregating your data. And one part of the tool allows you to combine string data, so concatenate string values together. So join them together. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So we're going to jump to all tricks. And in all tricks, I've got just some mock data that I've made up. So I've got a list of customers and stores that they visited. So all imaginatively ending in Smith, the customer names, just some mock data. And perhaps I want, in this example, I want my data to be one row per customer and a list of the stores that they visited. Well, the Summarize tool will let me do that. So the Summarize tool is found in the Transform tab, the orange Transform tab. And Summarize tool has this Sigma sign on. And I'm just going to drop it in and connect it up to my data. And a brief overview of how the Summarize tool works. You have your fields listed here at the top. You select a field that you want to perform an action on. It's blue when it's selected. You then click on this Add dropdown to perform that action. And once a field has an action performed on it, it'll appear in this little window here. So what I want to do is group by my customer to start with. And grouping by, so that's the first option on the uh, drop down of the Add button. Grouping by will just give me a unique list of my customers. So it will basically group together all of those same values together. So I've just got a unique list of my customers. But what I want to do is for each customer have those stores visited combined, so listed together. So for example, Tim Smith here would have one row for Tim Smith, and the stores visited would be A, B, and C. So what I'm going to do is click on my stores visited string, because I need an action to be performed to that. I'm going to click on this Add drop down, And I'm going to go down to String, and I want to use Concatenate. Before I do that, I just want to briefly mention here that the values in the Add drop down, uh, these actions are relevant to the data type you've got. So for example, this is String. I can perform a String action. I can't sum. So strings, you can't sum together. You can't add together words. So this is grayed out. If this was numeric, then that would be available. What I'm going to do is go down to string, as I said, and go to concatenate. And when I do that, I get this concatenate properties section up here at the bottom of my uh, configuration window. And what that allows me to do is if I want something to be at the start of my uh, string, I can put it here and at the end. And I also, and here I can choose, uh, perhaps the most important part here is the separator. So when I combine these values together, for example, as I said with Tim Smith, A, B, and C, how do I want these values to be combined, uh, separated? And in this case, I want a comma, which is the default value. So I want it to be a list saying A, comma, B, comma, C. So I'm just going to hit run. And if we look at the output, you can see what it's done. So now I've got one row per customer and the stores they visited listed together, separated by a comma. So a really quick and easy way to use a summarize tool to allow us to combine our string data. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to this channel and check out our newest uploads. Related to this video, uh, there is another, another video from me, which is all about using a summarize tool to combine your spatial data. So check that out if you're interested. Thank you.